of God? This is something very interesting. The spirit of thanksgiving. You know, a 78 year old man was taken to the hospital for the breathlessness. Now we know we're all under COVID, right? COVID is nothing but the breathlessness. All right? So what they said is they, they, they gave him an oxygen uh, a cylinder and asked him to use it so that he can use for his breathing. So this man used it for 24 hours and he was recovered and he's given back and the hospital billed him $500 for the oxygen. And this man started crying. Then the doctor thought probably he can't pay the 500 because he may or may not have that money. He said, hey patient, don't worry. If you can't pay that bill, doesn't matter. That's what you are crying for. He said, no, 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 no. I'm not crying for that. Then why are you crying? Hey, I lived 78 years and 70 years I've been breathing a free oxygen by the Lord. I never paid a cent to him. What it shows to you? That man realized at that point of time how God, the good, how good the Lord is. Amen. Hallelujah. And everything in this world, if you think of it, you can't but thank God. Hey, a small, a small little here, a small uh, uh, skin comes off. If any taps, oh, you say that. Am I right? Now, I want you to look into the reality of our life this morning. What I mean to say is, if the small thing, hey, if it's not there, you don't even care. Sometimes pain remains who God is. Amen? Because this guy needed oxygen for 24 hours, he realized the value of oxygen, which is receiving free from the Lord for 78 hours, 78 years. Amen? Hallelujah. Why I'm telling people of God is for a simple thing. Your heart determines who you are. Your heart towards God. Your heart towards God's work. Your heart towards God's uh, uh, blessing. Your God. Your heart towards everything that God gives you. Your heart determines who you are. Amen. A study show in uh, California is called UCLA, a neuroscience department. They, st they studied few cases and they found when your heart is thankful enough and your heart is thanking God and rejoicing in the Lord, they could see there are a couple of uh, 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 chemicals released in the brain. They're called uh, serotonin and uh, uh, dopamine. And these two chemicals give such a refreshment and energy to the body because the heart and the mind are rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. If it is so medically, if it is so physically, how much more it is when you thank and praise God. You can see the miracles of God in Jesus' name. There will be a healing in your body. There will be a blessing in your body. There will be a blessing in your family. There is a blessing in your office. There is a blessing everywhere. Because you rejoice in the Lord. Thereby you produce a product called the praise of God. The anointing of God. The grace of God. Love of God. Joy of God. That will bring your life all together set for the glory of God. Rejoice in the Lord always Paul says. He said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. And rejoicing is a heart issue, not the circumstance issue. Amen? In the worst of the situation, you can exalt God and rejoice because you know God is in control. That's where the mind and your heart talks about. Amen? Thanksgiving brings breakthrough in your life. Let's see. We need to have a breakthrough in your soul. You need to have a breakthrough in your challenges, which is around you. That means in the world. And you need to have a breakthrough in your spirit because you are a trichotomous being. You have a man is a spirit having a soul living in a body. Amen. Hallelujah. Man is a spirit having a soul living in the body that is the definition of man and man needs breakthrough in all the three years amen hallelujah a soul is for you 
and the world is where you are living in. You need a breakthrough in the world, amen? I need a good job, I need a breakthrough, I need a good family. A good family is not inside of me, good family is outside of me. That is connected to the world. So, you need to have a breakthrough inside of you. You need to have a breakthrough outside of you and you need to have a breakthrough for the Lord to communicate to you. Amen, hallelujah. You need a breakthrough in your spirit, you need a breakthrough in your soul and you need a breakthrough in all your challenges.